Pickled eggs, they are definitely a love it or hate it type of food. We absolutely love these. We've been making them for a little over 10 years now. And to this day, every time I see a jar of these, it brings me back to when I first saw my first jar of pickled eggs. A guy I used to work with brought a jar of pickled quail eggs into work one day, set them on the counter, and they looked absolutely disgusting to me. They looked like eyeballs floating around in a mason jar. He finally convinced me to try one. I did, and they were delicious. I ended up eating half the jar that day. Later that week, I found myself at the grocery store stocking up on eggs, hard boiling them at home, and coming up with my own recipe. I'm going to share that recipe with you guys today. It's a real basic spicy pickled egg recipe. The worst part about it is when you make these, you need to wait at least two weeks before you eat them, and these things get better with age. Let's get started. So since we have such a nice day out today, we figured we'd make these pickled eggs outside, and we've been stockpiling our eggs for about a week now. The chicken's been laying pretty good. We've been getting about 10 to 14 eggs a day. So we're gonna be making 60 pickled eggs today. We have our Camp Chef stove over here and I've got two pots of water boiling. First thing we need to do is hard boil our eggs. There's lots of different ways you can do this. The way we do it is we get our water to a rapid boil. We add our eggs and then we let it go for 14 minutes. We're gonna drain the water. We're gonna put some cold water in there and stop the cooking process. So let's get started on that. We've got our water boiling. We're gonna start putting our eggs in. Okay, we've got our eggs boiling. We're gonna start our timer for 14 minutes. Let's jump over to our table and we're gonna take a look at a few more things we're gonna to need to make these pickled eggs. For our pickled egg recipe, you're gonna need something to put your eggs in. We're gonna use some of our quart-sized mason jars and then we've also got one bigger jar that we're gonna be putting some in. And then we've got our rings and some lids for our mason jars. And then the main ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need vinegar, you're gonna need water, sugar, and salt. And then from there, pretty much the sky's the limit. You can put anything in there that you want, uh, at least anything that has good flavor to you. Today we're gonna use some of our red onions. We have a head of garlic. We're gonna be using some jalapenos. We're gonna use dill seed since we don't have any fresh dill. We have some coriander. We've got some black peppercorns. And I've got some brown mustard seed. And we also have some sugar here. And I have almost two cups. I'm not sure if we're gonna use this much. Um, I'm kinda gonna know how much we're actually gonna need once we get our hard boiled eggs put into our jars. And for vinegar today, we're gonna be using part white vinegar. We're gonna be using part apple cider vinegar. It's been 14 minutes, so our eggs are done boiling. I'm gonna drain these out. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of snow in with just the eggs and let that melt and kinda cool them down so they're easier to work with and it stops the cooking process. And then I'm gonna get another pot on here filled up with water and I'm gonna get that boiling because we're gonna boil our jars with that. So those eggs have cooled down enough where I think we can start to work with them. We're gonna bring them over to the table and now we have 60 eggs that we need to peel. So there's different reasons that people pickle eggs. A lot of people do it for preserving them. We actually had to cut back on our egg consumption to be able to save up this amount of eggs. So we eat a lot of eggs and we're not really Pickling, yeah, we're not pickling them to preserve them. We're more pickling them because we like pickled eggs. Uh, they're a great snack. They're, they're a hard boiled egg, but just way better. So if you ever are hungry or you're on the go, or whatever, pickled eggs are awesome to just grab, you know, a bag full of them or a jar and it's a nice snack to take with you on the road. Like Eric mentioned, we're only getting, I think probably about a dozen eggs a day. You know, some days we get more than that and a few of the hens are starting to go broody, so I think we're gonna have less eggs daily, but we go through a lot of eggs, especially with our animals, and rarely have to, we rarely have extras is what I mean, so we just, we, you know, we don't wash them when we collect them, and that way you can just store them, you know, at room temperature on a counter, and they do last, it's pretty crazy, but they'll last like a month to two months um, easily in that type of temperature if they haven't been washed or previously stored in a refrigerator. We obviously eat ours quicklier than that, so they're never on the counter for more than a week, maybe a week and a half if we're trying to save them up 
think this took us close to a week to save up these. And we find that when they're a little bit older, they peel easier when you're doing soft boiled eggs and hard boiled eggs. Yeah, so if you want to let your eggs sit from when you get them fresh for about two weeks, we found works pretty good. And it just makes it a lot easier to peel these eggs, especially when you're doing 60 of them. It takes a while. Look at how big this one is. Beautiful. Where's the sack? This is you gotta find it's it. called a membrane, sweetheart. No, there's like an air pocket. It's Nervous. called a membrane. Bo's looking. He wants an egg. Bo, you want an egg? We've got our eggs all peeled. We got 58 of them. One of them we ate, and one of them we just forgot out of there. So we're doing 58 eggs today. We're gonna get those cleaned inside real quick. I'm just gonna wash them with some hot water and get some of the eggshells off of them. And then we are gonna start working on putting together our brine. The other thing we have to do is boil these jars. Normally we just wash them with um, like warm soapy water, but because we've used these, I'm gonna boil them just for a few minutes. Uh, that's just gonna help get it really clean, especially since we're not water bathing these. I just want them to be close to sterilized or disinfected as possible. We got our hot water going and we're gonna boil just a few of these jars at a time and get them clean. And then we're gonna start um, getting some of our ingredients chopped up and then we're gonna get our eggs packed into our jars. Let's get started on the pickling brine and the ratio of vinegar to water that you wanna use is gonna be about one to one. And what that means is if you use one cup of vinegar, you wanna use one cup of water. I'm gonna pretty much do that, but I'm gonna go a little heavy on the vinegar. So I'm gonna start with our distilled white vinegar. And then we like to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar as well. So now I'm gonna add the same amount of volume that I just put in a vinegar. I'm gonna double that with water. So that's gonna give us our one to one ratio. And this doesn't have to be perfect at all. You just want it about one to one ratio. And as far as how much brine you need to make, that's completely dependent on how many eggs you have. I just try to look at the eggs and the jars and just kind of estimate how much I'm gonna need. We've been making pickled eggs for probably about 10 years now. So it's, it's pretty easy for us to figure out how much we're gonna need. And if you don't have enough at the end, that's not a big deal. This stuff is really easy and quick to make. You can just whip a little bit more up. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my sugar to this, seeing how many eggs we have and about how many jars we're gonna use. It's gonna give me an idea of how much sugar we're gonna use. And you can also use more sugar if you like them sweeter. We like more of like a spicy, more dill pickle type of brine, but you can also just do like a sweeter pickle. So I'm gonna add pretty much this whole thing of sugar. It's about a cup and a half. Next thing we're gonna add to this is our salt. And I like to do about a teaspoon um, per quart. So I think I'm gonna use about four quarts and then that big one. So I'm gonna do about five teaspoons of salt in here. So for our recipe at this point, this is ready to go on the stove and get hot and get that sugar and salt all dissolved. Sometimes when we would make pickled eggs in the past, I would add my jalapenos and my onions and my garlic now when I would actually cook them in the brine. But over time I've realized that I don't really like a mushy jalapeno or a mushy onion or garlic. So what I'll do uh, when we're almost done and we got the eggs in the jars, we're gonna cut up our jalapeno, our onion, our garlic, and we're just gonna put it in the jars raw. So let's get this on the stove and heat it up. Let's get started chopping up the ingredients that we're gonna use inside the pickled eggs. We're gonna do jalapenos, red onion, and garlic. Now that we have these quarts clean, we are going to start assembling the jars. Yep, we're gonna put our herbs and spices in the bottom of these jars. We're gonna use coriander, black pepper, mustard seed, and dill. So the way we like to do this is you start with a layer of eggs, which in these um, quart sized jars is three, and then you do a layer of your onion, your jalapeno, 
and a garlic, and then you do another layer and just repeat. So Eric and I started making pickled eggs about 10 years ago, and it was actually Eric, really. He was the one who wanted to try it. Um, and the way we store them is, you know, we just do it this way, which is, it's traditionally called open kettle, I believe. So we've got the hot jars, we're putting in hot liquid, and then we are just gonna seal them like that and store them at a cool temperature. Our root cellar mimics a refrigerator, so it's nice to store these in a refrigerator. They don't have to be. Before we moved to Alaska, we would actually store these at room temperature, and they lasted for a very long time that way. Now, if you wanna play it a little safer, you can also water bath them for 15 minutes. All right, so we've got our jars packed full of our eggs and our veggies and our spices. Ariel's pouring our lids out. She just boiled these and our brine is almost boiling. As soon as that gets to a boil, I'm gonna pour it over these. We're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna put a ring on and that's gonna create our seal for us. So one last jar we're gonna boil. It's gonna be this bigger one here and this one is gonna be the one that we're gonna go through first. We're gonna keep this in the house and this is gonna be one we kinda just pull out of when we're snacking. So we are just gonna dip this in the boiling water real quick and get it cleaned up. So using that hot brine, this is actually going to get a seal. This will pop down and you'll get a nice seal on it. Typically in the past, when we opened one, when we took it out of storage, we would then put it in the refrigerator. I think that's just the way we prefer to eat them. They taste really good cold, but uh, you know, you'll see them a lot of times in restaurants and things in bars, just sitting on the counter at room temperature. We do have a little bit of the brine left over, so a good use for that is you can take um, cucumbers if you want to make pickles, you can do that, or you can take beets or carrots or onions and you can kind of just pour that over those and you can make like kind of a quick pickle. That's probably what we're going to end up doing with it. So as you can tell, pickled eggs are super easy to make. I mean, we're doing it outside and it didn't take us more than an hour and a half to do. It may seem like a kind of strange food, but it is really good and I think they make great gifts. Um, again, like Eric said, they do last a long time, but we find that we go through them pretty quickly in our house. Yeah, and as far as you guys making these yourself at home, you know, get creative with them. We've done really sweet ones. We've done extremely spicy ones with ghost peppers, and they've always turned out really good. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. No! <laughs> you eat it. Mmm, it was warm. It tastes like you put salt on it. That was really good one. It was as if it just laid it and cooked itself. Oh my god. So good. Cracked its own shell and hopped into the I think I've done more than you. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. I used to work yeah. in egg factories. Hey, you gotta hit it on one side and the other and it breaks the seal. I do six by the time you do a half. Well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, okay? Look, you know, I haven't gotten to one that hasn't been able to peel well. Even yeah. the fresh ones from yesterday. So why is it taking so long? Because I have problems with that. Hey, I wonder if the chickens like to eat these eggs, chance. Yeah. Try your technique. Oh well, that didn't work at all. Oh man, I was gonna do Rochambeau with you real quick. <laughs> it's two out of three. That's oh. how you always play. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, whatever. Okay. Two out of two? Two because okay. I won.